it matters where you stay. Fish tacos? Carl. I don't have any updates. My computer's response every time my sound card stops working and I have to force a reboot, cry a little bit, call tech support just so they can tell me to uninstall and then reinstall the audio driver, cry a little more, wait for Maurice Moss to ask me if I'm current with all my OS updates, check to see if there are any updates available, turn it off and on again, resign myself to the never-ending cycle of troubleshooting devices that I'm told I can't live without but pretty sure I want to live without. But they've become so intertwined with the modern economy that abstaining from their use feel simultaneously like the path to freedom and like an insurmountable obstacle then find myself yelling into the same technological void that i have been struggling to listen to only to find myself asking the question is that the guy that played glenn and accepted somehow makes it into the commercial she still haven't closed what is it exactly that you were trying to close a deal a door the jimmy john's down the street if you want me to be invested in this bizarre working arrangement then i'm gonna need a little more than this vague workplace jargon as an explanation for all we know this band of misfits works for a startup that tests tasers on baby kangaroos and they absolutely deserve to be trapped in this hell hotel i'm on the phone if work ever forces you into a closet literally or metaphorically that job you fly free little bird and steal a stapler on the way out that being said this commercial is acting like the only options any of these people have are to either stay at a hilton or participate in this seedy motel room work orgy that is somehow more sad and less fun than one would have originally imagined when you and your team need space to work go to a damn starbucks you don't need a better room you need a we work or some shit. this is actually a thing that hotels have and it is gross in fact i'm willing to bet more than a few hiltons have phones in their bathroom as well and i don't know a single person who uses them so the sin here as always is the invisible yet still present fecal residue that likely resides on all our cell phones because we can't resist playing beat star while dropping a beat from our starfish Writers bringing in this fish to escalate the situation as if this dirty room with this hideous wallpaper that's lit like a scene from Fight Club wasn't enough to get their point across. Is that mackerel? No, it's a trout. Oh good, she got it wrong because I can't prove that identifying this fish by smell alone is bullshit, even though it feels like bullshit. So now I can just send the fact that she smelled this fish coming out of the microwave, but not a single one of them spoke up and threatened vigilante justice when it was going into the microwave, or the entire f***ing time it was being microwaved. Also, acting like this guy is all about the trout when it's really a red herring, the fishiness of the situation has nothing to do with the quality of your accommodations and everything to do with the fact that Archie from Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay is an agent of chaos. Some men just want to smell the world burn. Has anyone seen my mayonnaise? All right, I refuse to suspend my disbelief that Carl hadn't been murdered prior to this moment in his life. Oh, what a relief that our protagonist has a new room all to herself, and also a proper cinematographer, DP, and gaffer, so the lighting is less dystopian than the Bates Holiday Inn Express we saw earlier. It matters where you stay. True, but you left out the part where that stay should be as far the f*** away from Carl as humanly possible. Fish tacos? Nice job, Hilton Hotels. Now you too are complicit in enabling Jaybird from Hot Tub Time Machine 2 by giving him the means to weaponize your culinary exploits. We all know there will be leftovers, and there's a good to fair chance these otherwise delicious tacos will make an encore appearance when they emerge from Carl's carry-on while aboard the 515 out of Dallas Fort Worth. Hilton for the stay. Commercial has been including this narration like I wouldn't create a completely fictional backstory about the ghost of Millie B. Hilton, the heir to the Hilton fortune, who died under questionable circumstances. And now it wants me to not take the for the stay as the open thread of a quasi Hotel California scenario where I can check out any time I like but I can never leave? No thank you! Did she just go in there and say give me a fish? Pretty much, yeah. Remember to also check out Cinema Sense, where we send movies, and TV Sense, where we send TV. Also subscribe to Commercial Sense. Click the bell, like this video, slap your mama's ass. Oh, and check out CinemaSense.com, which has all our videos and easy genre categories and links to our store where you can buy our sweet, sweet merch that we guarantee you will love. Guaranteed Void in Tennessee. <laughs>